Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is RedGal619, and I want to thank you first and foremost, like always, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am bringing to you another story time. Now, this is Paranormal Part 3, so I hope you are ready for it. We have Halloween coming really soon, and uh, I, I love Halloween. I love all the holidays. This story time that I'm about to tell you, Paranormal Thress, is not my uh, personal experience. This didn't happen to me, but it was told to me at uh, the tender age of 10 or so. I was very young when I heard it. I remember being around nine or 10. So it scared the, it scared the shit out of me, pretty much. It, it scared me shitless. So I'm here to scare you shitless. Since, I, like I said, Halloween is right around the corner. It is coming this coming Monday, and I hope if you do go out, you are safe and uh, you have a great time with yourself and your kids and everything um, okay so let's get on to paranormal part three oh um, this story is basically about a woman and a house and her children she came to this house seeking a new beginning for her and her family okay and uh she saw it and she said, okay, it is a great spot, great location near a school and it's enough space for me and my family. And on top of all of that, it was affordable. She was a single mom, budget, 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 like you know how it is. And this place is something that she could definitely afford. And it was, like I said, enough space for her and her family to grow in. So she went down very interested to check out this place and it was like the paper described amazing it, it had amazing space you know it wasn't huge it wasn't a mansion but it was just what she needed at the time she checked out the kitchen and the rooms and everything like that and uh, you know along the tour you know uh the the little agent made everything sound everything sound like it was just good to go and, and and if she was ready for it it was hers okay and she you know uh like i said she checked out the kitchen and it looked out in the backyard and she was like oh wow nice space for the back you know the kids to play in the backyard and things like that and um you know she was like yeah you know that'd be an awesome place for your kids to you know run and stretch their little legs and everything but let me show you the rooms that they can be you know uh you know themselves in and you know the oh, i think believe it was four bedroom i mean it was the place to be she signed the papers no hesitation after she checked that own Everything is good, boxes are unpacked, and her kids are, you know, making this house now a home. And she was in the kitchen, you know, getting everything ready for the evening, cooking dinner and things, and she was like, you know, go in the backyard and uh, give mommy some quiet and some space, you know? So her three kids go back there, and they're back there for a while, hooping and hollering, having a good time, and then things go quiet. And, you know, she doesn't really notice, you know, like that, but one does, eventually come back into the house into the kitchen and you know gets her attention and was like mom you need to come check this out and she was like you know what's going on did somebody hurt she's like he's like you know uh no uh but you need to come check this out in, in the backyard so she's like okay you know uh, she turns down the stove goes in the backyard and you know along her way to whatever her kid was you know leading her to she saw her other two children in the distance you know with a perplexed look on their face and she's like what are they looking at you know is it a dead animal you know what are you guys messing with over there it's like that's what's that's what's going on in her mind what are you guys messing with over there so she goes in the backyard goes to where they're looking and everything and she looks down and to her surprise there are three headstones three headstones um from the dates and the names to her she assumed that it was a family a mother a father and a, a little tombstone with a um an angel on it it looked like a child okay uh, the, a child of two or three so you know caution tape <laughs> Invisible caution tape goes up, you know, you don't want to keep your children from the backyard But y'all need to stay away from this section over here this section over here and it dawns on her like, you know The the agent kind of did skip over the backyard. She didn't show me 
the backyard, you know, she just was, you know, yeah, look out there, girl. That's where they can, you know, stretch their little legs. Let me show you the room. You know, it was like kind of a uh, passe over that situation. And, it, you know, this is the reason because there's dead bodies back here. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it was I obviously, I guess maybe their land at one point. I don't know. I don't know. She wanted to figure out herself what the hell was going on so she calls up the agent like what well, yo what's up no 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 answer no call back no no comfort nothing like there's no explanation you know she's not there at all you know to to answer these questions like why didn't you tell me about this so and what else could the mother do i mean she sunk her money into this is this is it this is this is it, you know, her kids are already registered in school. You know, she already got everything set up. And yeah, I mean, she just has to deal with it. Like I said, caution tape, y'all just keep this, respect this area, don't go to this area, just respect this area, okay? So, you know, weeks go by, months go by, it's in the back of her mind now. She doesn't even really even think about it. You know, it's an eerie thing, it's an unfortunate thing, but what can you do? And uh, you keep living. And you know, um, you know, here comes another evening. And you know, she's making dinner and the kids are in the backyard, you know, uh, doing their thing, you know, it's after school, homework's done, and, and they're just having a good time while mama's making dinner. And they know, as soon as she calls, come in, shower, get ready for dinner. So it was that time, y'all come in, it's time to come in, y'all take a shower, get ready for dinner, you know how it is, shut it down for the evening, whatever, what have you. One child comes in, the door opens. <laughs> Next child comes in and yells for the other one that's lagging behind. Come on, mommy called. Come on, let's go. Come in, open, close. Third one, taking forever, comes in, open, close. Door slams. And she told him about this. She said, don't slam the door. What I tell y'all about slamming that door? <laughs> okay. And then, you know, they're, they ran off into the bathroom and taking off their little, you know, smelling like puppies, taking off their clothes and all that good stuff. You know, so they're getting ready for shower. The door opens, the door closed. While she was in the kitchen. So she thought, maybe my child forgot a toy outside. Uh, so she looks outside and, and she doesn't see one of her kids and she still hears them in the background. The, the shower's starting to run now when people are there, they're fussing and fighting with each other, you know, typical. And so she's like, okay, there's nobody in the backyard. And nobody left out. So who came in, you know, who came in my house? So she's like, it, it's just been us. So she was like, felt chills, like, cause the door legit opened close as though another child had come in or out of her house um so she didn't really go into it she didn't delve into it with them because she didn't want to freak them out because these are young children and you know she already felt kind of eerie about the place after seeing what was in the backyard you know what i'm saying so she just squashed it did the issue went back finished dinner so she gets everything ready for the night and she goes to sleep. Her kids are sound asleep. Three o'clock in the morning. She's half asleep, you know, good sleep. And her door opens and she feels like a slight tugging on her blanket as though a small child is climbing up on her bed slowly making its way up on her high, high bed. You know, it was pretty high from off the ground and it just sat next to her. And she's half asleep, not knowing if this presence that she's feeling is one of her kids. It couldn't be because they would open a door and announce themselves off the rip. So a chill came over her body again, like what's sitting next to me is not one of my kids. <laughs> She turns over slowly like 
sees this little figure, no face, leap on her, put its hand around her neck and choke her. She can't move, her hands are stiff like a board. She can't move, she's trying to move, she can't move. She's trying to move her best and it's squeezing tighter and tighter and she's feeling like she's losing breath, almost seeing stars to the fact, I mean, almost blacked out, okay? Somehow, some way, she gathers strength and just knocks this little thing into the wall. It hits the wall drops to the ground, pops back up, and runs out of her room like Chucky doll. Yo! <laughs> when I tell you that's the end of the story, <laughs> that's the end of the story, girl, because I'm telling you, I was 9 or 10 when I heard this, and that's all I needed to hear. I am so sorry that I don't have an ending if she, you know, got up and packed her stuff and gathered her children and went fleeing into the night. I don't know if she stayed there or toughed it out. I don't know what happened after this because I was through. I was through, sick of forking me. I was done. I, I was so scared. I was so scared. Can you imagine a little being, a little Chucky type doll? Choking the life out of you with his little Chucky type hands. <laughs> and you can't move. You would think that you as an adult have the strength to get this little thing off you like, what? Get off me. And go for it. <laughs> but to, to, for to have a force, the weight on your chest, the air escaping your body. Oh my goodness. That's all I needed to hear. That is all I needed to hear. I remember to this day, I am 33 years old and proud, but I remember that to this day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this little story, Halloween mini story time. <laughs> Uh, any story time suggestions hit me on the comments below you guys and um, I hope you have a happy Halloween a safe Halloween if you decide to go out there and party you know just just watch out for them clowns because I'm telling you if I see one I don't know if I'm gonna be running in the direction that the clown thinks I'm gonna be running because yo yeah, that is not what it is. Uh, my fear turns to anger real quick. Just a warning out to any clowns that might be in my area.